Hi folks, this is Danny at Bradley James Classics. Now, I'm bringing you a rolling restoration opportunity. Um, don't worry, I'm gonna probably do a walk around video actually while the car's on the floor as well. But um, increasingly, people ask me for walk around videos that include the undercarriage, which is quite tricky to do uh, on a chilly autumn morning. So what I'm gonna do is actually put this one into my workshop and I'm going to get underneath this car and I'm going to show you what she's like on the underside. Now the car itself is a Rover P4. It's the Rover 100 model, so a bit more go in it. Uh, this one's from 1961. Um, and actually, uh, the car itself presents rather nicely. Now I'm going to do one on the ground and I will show you inside the car and stuff. It looks to, to be an older restoration. Unfortunately, when you get up a little bit close on these shiny panels, well, it doesn't really show particularly well there, but the, the paintwork isn't brilliant. Um, however, totally presentable. And when you sort of step away four foot, it looks very nice indeed coming down the road in its two-tone green. It's a very popular colour for the Rover. And the interior is in surprisingly good condition. And actually the engine bay uh, has got lots of shiny bits on it and it's been detailed and again very presentable. Now this car, if you look it up on the government system, it will show us having an MOT because the car now is MOT exempt. However, it did fail its last MOT and it did fail on a number of items that it looked like the customer, previous owner, my customer had, uh, had dealt with and one for example was uh, the, the rear exhaust pipe, as we can see, that's been done. Um, and as we walk through the car here, I'm going to show you a few areas where uh, there's been some repairs. Now, this is one that referred to the rear of the chassis. Now, as you can see, a, a repair has been carried out to the rear of the, I'm sorry, not chassis, the sort of seal area. Um, it spoke of uh, some corrosion in the um, central area of the chassis, even though that's not world class but that does constitute a, uh, a welded repair and you can see under seal has been painted along this this area and then also at the front you can see some welding repair work um, and I think that's to a acceptable standard. Um, it spoke about some play in the um, kingpins, now here's a king, sort of kingpin bushes actually, there's the front suspension arm and you can see the uh, the spring coming down and those bushes are either here or they're here and the same thing for the uh, near side you'll notice there's a new control arm which is put through here um, and actually up underneath the engine everything pretty much seems relatively good in fact pretty good a few oil leaks as you would expect from a a, a British Rover of this uh, era but uh, I'm hopeful you can see underneath pretty well. It's got things, you know, the components have been painted. You can see the, the back axle and suspension's been painted like a, a red or a, uh, an oxide. Um, same with the prop shaft through there. And uh, up underneath the gearbox and up into the engine. Uh, now the areas that it did fail on previously, there's a bit of corrosion at the front. Again, that would require some uh, remedial work. The central area, can you see it's a little peppered here? And then something towards the back. So hopefully this little walk around video from underneath just gives you a little bit of an idea of uh, some of the car's failings from a previous MOT. However, um, the previous owner has decided he's going to uh, move on to another classic car. We've got the car here, and we're selling this as a rolling restoration. The car starts and drives well. Um, I say under the new system, the car is MOT exempt. However, I strongly recommend this car does have uh, this remedial action carried out. And uh, it gives you the opportunity of getting a, a well-presented Rover at a very sensible price point. Uh, I really love these cars and uh, this one does look the part and certainly 
As I say, it's been an older restoration, and you know, just look up there, that's an aluminium bonnet that's been completely stripped prior to repainting. And so generally speaking, I look around the body of the car, and she does uh, she does appear um, very solid. However, please be aware of the nature of a rolling restoration. From our point of view, we literally sell these cars as projects, parts only, and don't come with a the usual warranty that we would sell with a classic car because you are buying a project from us. But uh, happy to show you this Rover in some detail underneath so you know what's required. By no means um, a terrible amount of work. In fact, it's something we regularly get in as uh, repair work in our own workshop but uh, this one is for sale as is i hope you find this video useful any other questions please send me an email thanks folks danny at bradley james signing out